experiencing such a mixture of anticipation and dread. All preparations are complete for my installation. In accordance with the final dictum of the Ecumene Council, I have released myself of all remaining connections to my former station. This was not difficult. What was could never be again. We had seen to that quite thoroughly. Prior to my final journey through the Great Portal, a gathering of my fellow monitors was convened upon the Lightworkers' Branch to distribute the final index collection. It was most unusual to have this vessel of rebirth play host to such an event. Even though Lightworker ships were the only ones still allowed slip space permissions, Lightworkers were responsible for getting us to our places on the active facilities of the Array. While all of this was in accordance with the plan, one entirely unsatisfactory breakdown remained. We had no contact with the Domain. The history of all forerunners was now lost to us. We relied upon the permanence of the Domain to preserve our record of the events that led to this point. But without that record, would future civilizations know anything about us? Or only of our weapons? My fellow monitor, 049 Adjunct Testament, had only one comment on this before we went our separate ways. We deserve to be forgotten. Perhaps? Perhaps. But now, the portal opens. And through it, the familiar shape awaits. Halo. Home. Entropy. It has now been 3,000 years since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite clear communications protocol, my fellow monitors have either chosen to ignore, or, more likely, have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The continued lapse of the domain means that we are stuck with achingly slow wormhole superluminal communications. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have locked my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are fail-safes for this, I know. I hope they work. I will continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned dates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. 3,000 years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible upkeep. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation I became bored. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised, an end to strife. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, 
I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sensitive proximity warning. Six hours since the sentience landed in sector 1215, and so far, they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. I say remains because their landing was either not executed adequately, or this vessel lacked significant maneuvering capability. The visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere of my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally cataloged here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. But I do not understand why these sentients have not attempted to exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. I am currently translating this automated broadcast, but with such a limited data set and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short-range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But, in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of any installation is permissible. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely, in light of all that has changed, I should be able to modify my responses to adapt to No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. I hope they come out soon, though. So many questions to ask. So many questions. <laughs>